if it involves flour, it will look like a bomb went off in this kitchen. Welcome back to the farm. My name is Madison and I am sharing my journey on learning how to grow, preserve, and cook with our homegrown food. Today we are trying something new. I've got my recipes here. We are going to be making homemade tortillas. Now this only takes four ingredients. So this should be easy, right? I mean, I can do that. So we've got flour, of course, baking powder, a neutral flavored oil. I've got expeller pressed coconut oil and salt. Let's do it. Now I wanna be one of those cute apron wearing moms, but the uh, real reason that I have to wear one is because if it involves flour, it will look like a bomb went off in this kitchen. So we are suited up and ready to go. Three cups of all purpose flour. And so I've got left. Next, we've got one teaspoon of salt. Next, we mix. Now we've got one cup of warm water. I'm using coconut oil. I'm going to use the same measuring cup to warm it up. I'm not that weak, I promise. Okay, so now we're going to mix. It says until it is a shaggy ball. I mean, I think I would rather it be a scoopy ball, but I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. All right, we gotta clear the way. This is the gun zone. Because it's time to knead the dough. Of course, again. Until I acquire all the gadgets that make this stuff easier. We got it kneaded by hand, so hence the gun zone. When my husband watches this, he's probably gonna cringe. He loves my corny jokes. My mom is probably cackling right now. But I mean, I'm on a roll, can't stop, won't stop. So while I'm sitting here kneading for a couple minutes, I wanna ask you, how do you like to eat cucumbers? That is one thing I did not plan on this year, was I planted three cucumber plants. Three! And I am cucumbered out. I did not realize that they were going to make that many cucumbers. And we're not really a huge pickle family. David doesn't like pickles and I like pickles. They're okay, but I'm not going to eat them all the time. So I need to know, other than cutting them up and eating them with salt, what do you do with them? Because I feel bad. I've just been giving them to my chickens because... I don't know what else to do with them. So please let me know in the comments below, how do you like to eat cucumbers? That is some baby booty smooth dough. Time for step four. So this recipe makes 16 tortillas. I would love to make an even bigger batch, but I wanna make sure that they freeze and thaw well. So we're just gonna do 16 little portions. All right, next, we form dough balls. Tortilla balls. It says to let the dough rest for about 15 minutes to two hours. Back to the flour tortillas. We're gonna be rolling each dough ball into six to seven inches to make a tortilla. If you're a avid tortilla user, eater, you might benefit from a tortilla press because they make them all nice and round and perfectly flat and not like this. <laughs> okay, so I've had my pan preheating back here with that same coconut oil. 
and we're gonna put this tortilla in. So I've got this burner back here about as low as it can go, maybe low to medium heat. You can see it's already starting to puff up a little bit. So we're gonna let it cook for about maybe 30, 45 seconds on this side till it gets some brown spots and then we'll flip. Don't judge it too hard, okay? The first one's always the test drive. At least probably the last one will be good. Someone came to the door, but uh, this is the first one. That's so not a bite mark out of it. I will say that uh, this tastes better than any store-bought tortilla I've ever had. We'll give it that. It is a little crispy and it is not round, but it's fine. This is, this is the test drive. Okay, so we are at the end of this stack. Here is kind of what we ended up with at first. If it looks like this, it's probably too crispy for you to like it. And here is what we have towards the end. It's not perfectly round, but it's soft and flexible and it tastes really good. I think I'm troubleshooting for you here if you have this same situation. If it looks like this, where it's kind of more brown all over, there's probably too much oil in the pan if you use a nonstick skillet, this probably isn't that big of a problem, but I don't cook with nonstick cookware, so I have to use at least a little bit of oil. That's a whole conversation for a different day. But, all right, despite the flour bomb that has gone off in this kitchen, here is our result. Oh, whoops. We have somewhat flour tortilla looking things. I mean, they're not perfectly round, but they taste better than flour bot, tor flour bot, store bot tortillas. Now we're probably not gonna go through all these before they go bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wrap them in parchment paper and stick them in a Ziploc bag, put them in the freezer, then we'll get them out as we need them, see how they thaw out. Now, this video is part of a series that I am starting called From Scratch Swaps, where I am trying to replace the things that we normally buy at the grocery store with homemade from scratch options. I've made a playlist for these videos. So if you want to see the first video in this series where I make homemade noodles from our farm fresh eggs, then you can check that out here.